so what's up y'all i'm gonna show y'all how i got this red cherry hair color so just stay tuned and see how i did this so right here this is me and my friend and this is just a quick notice yes this is the same friend that's also on my channel that did that review on the white label hair and i would just really appreciate if y'all would stop trying to come for her in the comments because this is my channel and y'all not gonna just be saying what y'all want to say so y'all could really just take that somewhere else but anyways we're both dyeing our hair like bleaching this so that's why it was okay to show y'all like this process so basically what we did we mixed um 30 volume and the developer obviously and the trick is you want to get it as liquidy and as thin as possible because if you do it like thick it's gonna like bite you in the eh in the long run because it's gonna just be mad hard to like really get to smooth out so you really want it to just be as liquidy and as thick as possible so I'm going to be doing this to all three of my bundles. I want to take my hair. My hair is actually not 1B in this. It's actually dyed jet black. I dyed it with Kiss hair dye. So I want to take that from jet black all the way to just a honey blonde. Only because I don't need it to be that bright. Since I'm going to be using L'Oreal High Color. I think that's the name of it. I'm going to include it towards the end of the video anyways. And that's like purposely for dark hair anyways. So I was only interested in getting it to like you know maybe like a honey blonde and that's also why i use 30 volume just because i wanted to hurry and get it there as fast as possible and also i was like running short on time too i was doing this like at two o'clock in the morning me and my friend because we do dumb stuff like this all the time so i'm just gonna be doing this to all my bundles and as you can see here i'm gonna put it on the aluminum foil and then i'm going to fold it to also aid in the processing time to make it process way faster and the goal is by the time i put the last bundle of hair in the aluminum foil the very first bundle that i put in the aluminum foil should be done processing she gon' be salty She gon' call me But I'm moving on B so all in all, I left the bleach on the hair from between 30 to 35 minutes. And as you'll see soon, I'm going to be examining the hair to make sure I'm satisfied with the level it bleached to. And since I was, I then moved on to rinsing the bleach out and moving on to dyeing the actual hair. And I'm going to do a close up of how my friend was dyeing her bundles just so you can see what I mean about how thin you want the mixture to be and how you want to be painting the bleach on there to make sure it's spreading out evenly and really getting between all those spots. So now that we're done with bleaching the hair, the most annoying part, we can move on to actually dyeing it. And I'm going to put in the description box the exact um, number of the dyes that I use. I use six bottles of dye, but since I use magenta, red, hot, and red, I'm going to actually put the actual ratio that I use. And I mixed it with 40 volume developer because the dye comes in a tube and it's very thick so you have to um, mix this so it's more creamier and you have to keep in mind the more volume that you use the brighter and more intense the hair color will be since i was going for more of a deeper red not so much of a bright hot chili pepper red i didn't want to use too much of the volume so that's why it may look a little bit thicker to you and that's why i use six um tubes on only three bundles of hair and one frontal after painting the hair like that i like to take the entire bundle and like squish it around in my hand to try to get the dye to flow through all the hair strands and really get it like dispersed as evenly as possible so that that's what you see me doing right here Hey, 
else you call me I'm moving on, P She gon' be sorry She gon' be salty She gon' call me But I'm moving on, P so now we're gonna move on to dyeing the frontal and yes i know i kind of messed up the angle that i was dyeing the frontal at wasn't the best angle i honestly thought well i honestly didn't know what i was thinking but i thought you'll be able to see this part i just really wanted you guys to see what i meant by not getting too close to the roots that's how you keep the dye off of the lace and i'm not even gonna lie dyeing the frontal itself took me at least an hour because of how tedious it is you don't want to get the dye too close to the lace you want to get it like a half inch down and then take your small tooth comb and then comb it from um, close to the root and that's what's going to get it really close to the root so the roots bleach also or dye also but without staying the lace especially because of the color and how this was a transparent lace you do not want to get it on the lace Feel like I'm walking, she blow me down, make me feel like I'm nothing. Said hold it down, she was holding me up then. Yeah. Look at me now, and she know she fucked up then. Yeah. She want me now, cause she see that I'm up then. Yeah. She want me now, cause she see I got box shit. Yeah. She want me now, cause she see that I'm up then. Yeah. She want me now, she keep hitting me up then. Yeah. She want me now, but I feel like a buck. Cause you stepped on me, yo, did me wrong, cause you left on me. She had no defense Just like an ocean I thought we was deep in Gave you my trust And I told you my secrets That was my fault Cause you know how to treat shit That was my fault Cause you stepped on me yo. Did me wrong And you left on me yo. Stepped on me yo. Give me up You get left on me yo. Stepped on me yo. Didn't fuck Touch your back on me Okay, so you'll soon see me with a close-up on the um, part right here where I'm actually sort of tapping the dye onto the um, hair strands that are close to the root. And this is what I mean, like you do not want to ever put the paintbrush that close to the lace. You want to be able to do it with your comb so you have way more control over it. So that's just what I'm doing to make sure it's red all over, getting as close as I possibly can.
As you can see, I'm done with this one side and I've successfully dyed the hair without getting it on the lace at all. So I'm just going to move on to the other side and then I'm going to come back to show you the finished product of how it looks. This is the finished product. I went and I got my hair actually installed by the Chung Effect from Instagram. She's located in Brooklyn. As you can see, this is not too bright, not too dark, exactly how I want it. And I was just very satisfied. So thanks for watching my video. Cause you stepped on me.